A scientist has discovered a new rift in an Antarctic glacier which measures 19 miles long, and, if it breaks off whole, could result in a new, 115 square mile long iceberg that's big enough to get a name. Steph Lermit, an assistant professor in the Netherlands Delft University of Technology Department of Geoscience and Remote Sensing, first saw the enormous crack in the ice on October 3. He told Scientific American that he discovered the rift while looking through batches of satellite images of West Antarctica's Pine Island Glacier which he is emailed daily. Dailymail.co.uk once 2018 10-13-17-5-19864-6-272-617 Image M38 1,539,447,238,000 Dot JPG height equals 447 width equals 634 alt equals class equals book order image Share copy link to paste in your message all of a sudden I saw something I didn't see the day before, he said. What that was, was an almost 19 mile long rift that had formed in the middle of the ice shelf. Lermit said that the rift only needs to split another 6 miles before the glacier starts to calf when chunks of ice break off from its edge. JPG height equals 363 width equals 306 alt equals class equals book border imc share copy link to paste in your message should the iceberg break off in one piece, as opposed to several smaller splinters, Lermit expects the new iceberg will measure 115 square miles across, the equivalent of more than five times the size of Manhattan. On Twitter, Lermit wrote that this upcoming calving would be sixth largest calving event since 2001. If the calving should produce an iceberg big enough, he said, it'll get a name. Lermit stated that this Pine Island Glacier Rift, as well as previously formed rifts, are typically occurring in locations with basal crevices, crevices at the bottom of the ice shelf in contact with the ocean, where the ice shelf is thinner. In other words, where the ice meets warmer ocean water, which melts the glacier from beneath. Lerma told Scientific American he anticipates that the iceberg could break off anywhere from a few weeks to months from now, due to the rift spanning almost the entire glacier. He thinks it will likely happen sometime during the Antarctic summer, which runs from December to February, when temperatures have been known to get as high as 50 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Should the newly formed iceberg stay in the water near where it breaks off, Lermit said that it will likely stay solid. But, should it drift north, towards warmer waters, it would melt. The Pine Island Glacier is said to be calving icebergs at a higher rate than ever before.
Dailymail.co.uk once 2018 10 13 17 5 million 19,752 6 million 272 thousand 617 image of 57 1 trillion 539 billion 448 million 576 thousand 369 dot jpg height equals 423 width equals 634 alt equals class equals book Order image share copy link to paste in your message share this article share previous calvings occurred with generous amounts of time in between them. There was a calving in January 2001, with the next one occurring in November 2007, followed by a calving in December 2011. Comparatively, there were two calvings in the last three years, one in August 2015 and another in September 2017, which produced an iceberg that was 103 square miles long. When this new calving occurs, the Pine Island Glacier's new front line could be where the rift began, nearly four miles back from where its edge currently is. While calving is seen as a natural process, it is said to be concerning that the Pine Island Glacier is calving so frequently, as Lermit said that ice shelves help stop glaciers from flowing unimpeded into the ocean. Without ice shelves, enormous amounts of Antarctic ice would flow into the ocean, potentially resulting in the sea level rising by yards, Mashable reported. The Washington Post reported that the Pine Island Glacier loses 45 billion tons of ice each year, resulting in a sea level rise of 0.3 inches every eight years. Should the glacier completely melt, sea levels would rise by 1.7 feet. A 12-inch sea level rise would lead to chronic flooding of coastal cities and communities, as well as drive salt water further inland contaminating drinking water and impacting farming, according to how staff works. Higher sea levels are also said to result in stronger storm surges and more severe high tides, 